uh, a superstar eagle star with me uh, and i have so much pleasure to introduce to you abu aziz um abu uh, welcome to the show it's my pleasure being here today all right um let's talk about your experience um i mean it was was close uh, for the super Saiyan eagles but uh, that last game you know stretched we thought you guys were going to be able to do it but it wasn't i mean just talk about the experience uh, it was a very very good experience uh, going to bahamas to represent your country and uh in the last game against um, Iran, uh, we couldn't help it because um, beach soccer is a, is a game of strength. It's mm -hmm. a game of um, you being extremely fit. And uh, unfortunately for us, we couldn't help it uh, because uh, we were not very fit. And uh, it, 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 it showed in our game. That, yeah, that the first game was responsible for your house star. That you got the prob you guys probably are not acclimatized. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, uh, all the tournaments we've been going to, uh, whenever we get to the competition venue, we do play friendly matches. Uh, we do train within ourselves to acclimatize very, very well. But unfortunately, this time it wasn't like that. Me, me on my own now, myself and uh, three other players, we got to the competition venue like a day before our first match against Italy. And uh, when we got to Bahamas, we couldn't even rest two hours before we went to train again. Okay. On on the day we are going to on uh, a day before we are playing our first match, the other three players they got to Bahamas like uh, um, two hours before our first match. And uh, this is beach soccer, as in it's nature. You can't cheat it. And even myself now, when I, when we were playing the first match against Italy. After um, after the second period, I the fatigue started. Uh, yeah, coming in. Uh, it, uh, it started coming in, and I was even injured. I just had to manage, 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 manage to play. So if we had uh, been at uh, been in Bahamas for like uh, maybe a week before that time, I'd probably uh, properly acclimatized. Yes, uh, I think uh, we should have uh, surpassed that level. Let me ask you this: in comparison, you know, let's not even talk about Africa globally um is there any difference or, or the gap how much is the gap how wide is the gap so to speak between nigeria and the best beach soccer playing nations in the world as a player yeah. um, in your own opinion how wide yeah, the, is gap, that gap? The, the gap is not long at all all uh, the, the only thing i can, the only thing i notice is uh, they play beach soccer league over there and uh, we over here we don't play beach soccer league here but individual difference individual brilliance uh, we have been able to help ourselves all we all we need is just uh, enough time in camp to be able to match them or uh, most of them over there they are they are aging people they are they are, they are, they are not young to be able to match us physically. Mm -hmm. So what helps us most when we're playing beach soccer right now is uh, our physical... The raw yes, the energy. the raw energy. You understand? So we need uh, enough time in camp to be able to be fit enough to run those people down. So when we are in camp for just one week, two weeks, I don't think uh, there is any way that fitness can come in for you to be able to run those people. They are highly technical, they are highly tactical. So when you, when you that you don't play the beach soccer league regularly regularly when you are playing against a very technical and tactical side you need to be extremely fit to extremely to, fit to take away the advantage to, that is just it but this time when we are not fit enough to match them there is nothing we can do we just have to try and that was what really affected us okay uh, let's talk about another one you, you talk about what goes on on the field what about the technical inputs without really putting you on the spot the technical inputs that you guys receive before you um, go into the game um how can you describe it yes uh, okay, okay no, no matter no matter no matter the technical inputs you're taking in if you're not fit there is no way you can see the outputs okay because for you to bring out that technical part of you you have to be fit because there are some runs you need to make but when you are not fit before you make that run before 30 seconds you're already tired so the output won't be there so you need to be fit which is also part of the technical aspect but at this moment we and we were not fit okay so there was no way we can even help it so we just had to just try our possible best to see if we can if we can help ourselves but unfortunately for us yeah. We couldn't. I, I, you probably um, have been asked this question a lot of times, and I'm going to ask you again. Mm. Um, most of you guys 
how you make that transition from, from playing the, the, the regular football and you know take one or two months off your playing uh, beach soccer. What, what does it take to be able to adapt, to be able to that transition to make it smooth? Yeah, there is this thing about uh, Nigerian players. Uh, we adapt to every situation we find ourselves. Uh, because uh, there is this goalkeeper that, uh, that was our number one goalkeeper when we went to Bahamas, uh, Danjuma Po. Yeah. He's uh, a youth team goalkeeper. He, uh, he was uh, Nigeria's goalkeeper at the under 20. I was even surprised when I uh, saw his name on the list that he'll be coming to camp. I was like, for how long will this guy uh, be able to adapt? But getting to the tournament, as in, it really, really surprised me. If not because we left the tournament from the group stage, he might have been nominate, nominated as one of the best There's goalkeepers goal in the tournament because uh, he really, really did well for us. So that is one mentality about um, Africans and Nigerians in general. So uh, whenever you're being called to camp, in less than two days, when you see a Abu Aziz doing this thing, you feel, ah, since Abu Aziz can do it, I, I can, can do, do it. it as well. Since Mosquito can do it, I can do it. If Olawali can do it, I can do it. Especially so at his age. Yes. So that is the mentality about Africans and Nigerians in general. And I think that, that, is, that, that has been uh, the advantage that most players that have been coming to camp of late, that is one advantage they've been getting. And another thing is, uh, we the uh, senior players in the team, whenever a new player is coming in, we try as much as possible talk to, to them, talk to them, encourage them. them a lot, and tell them our own stories, how we came into the team. My own story, how I came into that team wasn't uh, very sweet, but uh, if uh, I remember where I'm coming from, I need to really, really encourage the younger ones that are coming into the team that, okay, if I can do it, if I can make it back then in 2009, I don't see any reason why you can make it now. So I think uh, the relationship in that team has been one uh, good force that has been helping the new players to be able to cope immediately right. they come in.